I'm getting better at that whole music swapping thing. Hey guys! It's Monday again. I always start off the stream with that, don't I? I should think of a better catchphrase, shouldn't I? Hey, what's up everybody? What's going on? What's going down? <laughs> yeah. Hey guys! It's Dan again. Hope you're all having a great Monday and I hope you had a great weekend. Um, I certainly did. But uh, yeah, it's time for some dev work today. Um, it's time to, yeah, once again explore the... Yeah, I didn't mute myself. Yes, I'm getting better at the whole streamy thingy. Lord knows I've only had <laughs> three months to get better at it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing some uh, dev streaming today. Um, going to be uh, comparing the areas again, going through the game, um, exploring the space in the original game and thinking, hmm, what could we do to make it stand out? What could we do to make the rooms better? Um, you know, some, something more interesting for the player to explore. And it just occurred to me that my, uh, the Discord overlay is showing up in System Shock. That's funny. You did have a good weekend. That's good. I, there's no Carly with me. Not yet. Um, she's currently eating. Uh, I may be interrupted by Steve at some point. Who knows? Um, we'll see. But it's just going to be me from now, so I'm going to try and keep an eye on the chat as best as I can. Apologies if I don't see what your... Uh, oh, thank you very much, Sheridan Freeman. Apologies if I don't see your uh, message straight away. I will try and keep an eye on it as best I can. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's crack straight on with things. So, uh, oh yeah, I'll do my uh, little disclaimer thing. So, um, this is kind of uh, your spoiler warning. Um, what I'm going through is I'm I'm going through and deciding on the space and possible encounters. I'm also going to be doing um, showdown related stuff, places where she might m screw with the player. Um, there's also going to be things where we take pieces from the original game and we maybe tweak them a little bit to make them uh, interesting to both new players and returning players. So. Here's your spoiler warning. If you don't want to know anything that could potentially be in the game, there you go. Leave now. <laughs> because you may have things spoiled for you. Um, all the things that I go through may um, may not make the final thing. Um, some of them might, but there's your spoiler warning. If you don't want to, if you want to keep things completely, you know. Um, Completely uh, spoiler free. There's the door over there. That way. Door's that way. Oh no, it's that. Yeah, it's that way would be the export, wouldn't it? Up there, yeah. So uh, I have a hard time ignoring it. Yep. What does the player think when they enter this room? Yeah, it's essentially. Yeah, uh, it's how to make just things a bit more interesting. So. Yeah, I mean, in this hallway, for example, we have, you know, we've got this empty room. Not sure what it could have been for. Uh, there's some kind of, yeah, there's a matter converter here. Uh, you can't use it, obviously, but uh, it just makes you wonder, you know, what 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 could we do with this space? There are some humidifiers. On, these are humidifiers, aren't they? Yeah, environmental regulators, yeah. So, um... You know, we might look at this room and go, okay, this could be maybe temperature control for some of the rooms, maybe, but there's a there's a converter on the wall there for something. You know, we, we have we actually have a concept for that. Um but um yeah, so things like that. Um I'll also be discussing enemies that we may potentially cut, which ones we'll keep. Um Sorry, I just realised I said I was ignoring you all from back. No, I wasn't. It's just been it's been an incredibly incredibly busy week for me. So uh, I ended up um, closing a deal on a house uh, today. Uh, I've spent the whole of last week um, trying to get that nailed down, but it's finally happened. I have gone and bought a house. So that's one of the many good things that happened over the last week or so. Um, Along with some other stuff, I mean, it was Thanksgiving, so um, 
the night dive office was you know it, it was it last last week was i couldn't get a hold of people so being in the uk it's like where are all my american pe people oh they're all in the us they're all they're all you know they're all eating turkey over there so um yeah i don't uh I didn't really get to talk too much. I did some work over the weekend. Um, closing on a house purchase soon. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's um, it's one heck of a train ride. I'll tell you that much. Um, and I do believe Carly's tried to sneak in here, but she has failed miserably. Hi, Carly. I'm here. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Good. <laughs> I'm looking at my cat because he's being suspicious, like he's going to come walk on this keyboard. <laughs> That's what cats do. That's their job, isn't it? That's their number one priority. Just walking, walk on keyboards. He did it earlier, but the message did not send. <laughs> 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 ah, cats. I don't have a cat. Allergic. I have a puppy cat. A puppy cat. Okay. Yeah, he acts like a dog, but he is in fact a cat. Ooh, can I get a cat dog? One cat at one end, a dog at the other end, and they just kind of oh, yeah. they go cat on they, they go on fun nineties wacky cartoon adventures. Can I have one? I always think oh, about wow. how much I hated Winslow, that blue mouse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was Such evil. He jerk. Hmm. Okay. So where do we get up to? Oh, I might as well. So um, yeah. I'll explain what I've done a little bit for this level, so, um, again, you're getting your spoiler warnings, guys. Oh yeah, someone gave me bits earlier, sorry, I completely missed oh, it. Oh, it's Jodan Freeman, he's on the board for 340, Ooh. and is asking for challengers. <laughs> Call to action. Go for it, guys. Puppy cat. <laughs> hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, and another good thing, um, Huddersfield beat Wolverhampton Wanderers on Sunday, so that was something to celebrate about. Football! I imagine 98% of the audience don't have a clue what I just said, but it doesn't matter. So, yeah, I will basically describe what I'm doing. Yeah, you've got your spoiler warning, so if you're still here, it's on you. Someone <laughs> um, else came in. Oh. Ooh. Oh! Hey, hey Steve! Hey, how's it going? Good. How's everybody today? Monday. Good. November twenty sixth. <laughs> yeah. Twenty eighteen. <laughs> In this part of the time space continuum. Year of our Lord. <laughs> Anno Domini. <laughs> um, what are you working on? Uh, both. Uh, the uh, expanding ideas document and the showdown encounter document. Uh, I've just I've spent the last minute, ten minutes, just explaining to people what I'm going to be doing. I haven't gone around to doing any of it yet, so let's crack on with it. So I'll just explain what I kind of thought of this area already. So this area, uh, while it was cool in the original game, um, I do possibly want to change this a little bit um, because when you open this door. <clears throat> because our version of the game is probably going to be a little bit more horror themed and the enemies are going to do serious damage to you, we can't really have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can't have nine mutants swarming the player in this elevator. That's just kind of ludicrous, really. Um, so, <clears throat> what I was thinking of, because um, the player has to come back here at some point. Um, Possibly take these enemies and don't spawn them in initially. And when the player has to come back, they might not expect, you know, all these mutants in this corridor. They just kind of they found their way onto the into this area while the player's been exploring elsewhere. Um, that's something I was kind of thinking about. Um, also, turning this area into more of a waiting area. I mean, I know it's like the research. You know, big research text on the wall here, but um, you know, th there's more we can do with the space. We can um, change it just a little bit. Um, you know, put some seats down, kind of like a yeah, well, a waiting area for the elevators um, that will go here. So um, that I've already noted down. I'm kind of going around the level in possibly a 
I'd say a clockwise rotation almost. There's some branching areas I have to go and kind of explore, like uh, these um, these offices. Um, obviously, they can be made much more interesting. Um, and we can actually put audio logs on tables in our version, which will be a major revolution in audio log placing technology. Because, um, fun fact, you don't find a single audio log on a table in this game. They're all on the floor. Um, probably because they just couldn't place anything on tables. At least I think. Someone's got, someone's going to call me out on that now, but... Uh, yeah, um, I can't recall seeing one at the moment. <clears throat> um, so yeah, this is storage room. Obviously, there's nothing behind this wall. Yeah, you might... Yeah, sorry. Some people did mention static at the beginning. That's because I started the stream and I forgot to load up Unreal and my computer doesn't like it when I've got a lot of workloads on the same time. So I had to start Unreal and then launch the level editor so I can see outside of the space. Because uh, this is a one-for-one -one build of the game, so I can see the space in our version and go, oh, we can expand these go away sea cleaner. We can um, go in and say, oh, we can make these rooms bigger, or we can make these rooms wider, or we can add, like, you know, an adjoining room onto this room and make it, you know, make the space a little bit more interesting. Um, which we can do for this corridor, because there's just, as you can see, there's just nothing there. Um, so, yeah, this this corridor could, th sorry, this um, room could be expanded out. Um, maybe add a few more offices, like this could be another corridor with some more offices for the player to explore. Um, this could be a series of um, storage rooms. Um... Sorry, were you going to say something? <laughs> How could you tell? <laughs> <laughs> I, I I heard the shuffling of the mic and then... Oh, Daniel's talking. Okay. <laughs> I What's was going to say, um, did you tell anybody about what happened with those uh, weird crates appearing in our elevators? Yeah, so there is some kind of... Our, our build is haunted right now, so every time we put out a new build, for some reason, seven crates will spawn in all in 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 the elevators and we can't Sneaky boys. yeah we can't kind of figure out why at the moment uh i have uh matt working uh matt's taking a look into that as well as um he's told me i forgot to mention this to you guy actually he told me he put a fix in for the elevator problem uh on wednesday oh. but i'm i must have missed it um i haven't checked the build um but what i can do is put a new build up after this um, and then we can test it through there and if everything's okay we can call that um, a good build um, cool because oh should I show should I show the guys the uh, bridge level yeah cool yeah do it yeah. Always, always show some cool stuff because <laughs> this is a cool exclusive stream brought to you now by night dive studio I don't know <laughs> I wanted to sound cool and and Maybe Nas, I don't know. <laughs> Other energy drinks are available. I'm but just yeah. drinking the mango one right now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you guys are going to get a first look at the finished bridge level. Just a little bit of a tangent before we go back to the main thing. But, um, yeah, so we kind of decided that we wanted to change the bridge a little bit. Um, gone is that um, HR Geiger esque look. Oh my god, Shodan Freedom. Sh blah, can't talk. Bits, thank you, Shodan Freedom. A thousand bits. That, that's that's He's awesome. He's buying us a cake. Yes! Thank you. Late birthday cake. Let night dive eat cake. Let <laughs> night dive drink Nas. <laughs> so, uh,. Yeah, like oh I said. Oh my gosh, Daniel. Yeah. I just thought of this. What? When GDC comes around, you'll be there in yeah. America. Yes. I'm gonna make you drink Nas. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> make you try one. I'm gonna be up all night. Just. You'll kill him. <laughs> just running up and down the walls, just shouting nonsensical things at people. <laughs> but I would love to try. Okay, I I'm being told to ask if you like peanut butter. Um, 
Well, I like peanuts. <laughs> I have. You like peanut butter is the question. Well, isn't peanut butter the same thing as peanuts? Like, I literally have. It's it's like spread. It's a spread. Yes, I'm going to say yes. He hasn't had peanut butter? It's not a big <laughs> thing. It's not <laughs> a big thing over here. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you... Before you go, oh my god, he doesn't I like peanut butter. It. It's not a big thing over here. They do sell it, but it's not like this staple of food that it is in America. So I eat peanuts. I like peanuts. But <laughs> I, uh, peanut butter uh, is peanuts, just in a paste. It's okay. We should make him a peanut butter <laughs> and fluff sandwich. Yes. I just want him to experience all the American things. I want an ice cream sandwich. Um, Ooh. We could get him that. <laughs> Although they sell them here, but there's got to be some strange food that. Well, I don't know. We like to copy you guys a lot. But Do know. they have the Magnum ice cream bars? Uh, yes. Although they they have them here on a on a, a wooden stick. Then I have to disown you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna think of all the American things you need to try. Mmm. Corn dog. Corn dog. Is that American? It is. American. <laughs> what else? Um. What are oh things God. you've heard us talk about or someone talk about that you're like, what is that? Uh. Um. I can't think now. <laughs> Don't put me on the Cheese spot. Burgers. <laughs> Cheeseburger. Uh, hang on. I need to show the guys the level. So yeah, guys, this <laughs> this is so we got rid of the HR Geiger esque um, kind of material and stuff growing the walls because we're probably going to change that. Spoiler alert, um, just a little bit to make it a bit more interesting. Um, but yeah, the the bridge now is um, totally finished. Um, I actually actually went through. If anybody uh, in our alpha. Uh, played the uh, bridge level. I actually went through and textured all the HR Geiger stuff in, but then our other texture guy went and took it out because he was like, we can do something much more interesting with this. And our concept art guy who worked on the original game, Rob Waters, he doesn't like it. Um, he's like, we can totally change this. So we're like, yeah, let's change it. Uh, so we're going to be doing something else. Um, but yeah, this is the bridge now. It's been fully. Um, let me just change the thing. It's been fully lit now, um, properly lit. Oh my goodness! Look at all those lights. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, we are closing in on. In fact, Steve, I don't know if you want to announce it or not, or should I? <gasps> announce what? That we've essentially finished the BSP <laughs> stuff. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you or <Not> me? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we, yeah, we have essentially finished the BSP process, the the texturing, the lighting. That's all done now, as of um, yesterday. Um, that got submitted to the um, SVN that we use, and that process is now done. That's uh, a milestone that we've completed so um, the only thing we need to do is uh, fix po oh, we need to test the elevators working um, so they go through all one to nine and once that's done we can call that um, that builds done and that's a great milestone for us so Yee. and that took <coughs> so we started it in when was the hiatus March February? Yeah, mm. right around that yeah. time. Yeah. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. It's taken us nine months to recreate the entirety of System Shock. Textures and all in Unreal. Which is fandabby-dozy. Um, Alright, so back on track with what I was doing before. <clears throat> yeah, the next stage is final art. Um, 
I'm trying to think. I've been now just thinking <clears throat> of American foods that I've never had. Um, ooh, cheese in a can. I've actually only had that once, and it was when I was younger, and it's disgusting. Do you have Baby Bell cheese? Yes. Okay, that stuff's good. Oh yeah, that's good. Con dogs, though, I don't... Is that, like, con on the cob? Or something? No, it's like a hot dog. Right. Which, you have hot dogs, right? Of course, yeah. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's dipped in a batter that's like kind of like a sweet like cornbready type batter and oh. then fried it's very good actually it does sound good I like getting turkey corn dogs a lot hmm you have cheese in a can yes Americans have cheese in a can I, d I don't even ever see it in stores so I don't know where you would get it deep fried Butter. Ooh. That's making my arteries what? go. I'll, I'll make you go to the cat cafe too, even though <laughs> you said you're allergic. It'll be fine. Steve didn't go last time to the cat cafe. Maybe he can come too. Oh, yeah, I missed out. <laughs> I think you were too tired. Because <laughs> GDC is exhausting. Hmm. So, this space. I'm not entirely what, sure what this space is meant to be. Um, or this area. This area just looks like, um, it looks like a storage area of things that um, wouldn't go in the storage area, but maybe, like, I'm not sure. And this, this room is just completely kind of out of left field. Just, let's have this room that's just full of radioactive barrels in here. That could be, we could turn that into a um, dispose, a waste disposal room. Um, we could make it look a bit more interesting. Um, like toxic, toxic waste, radioactive waste comes here to get, I don't know, jettisoned, jettisoned into space, I don't think. Trioptimum care too much about uh, space pollution. They are very rich after all. So. As we talk about peanut butter, Raul just showed me an article that there's a gourmet peanut butter and jelly restaurant coming to LA. <laughs> oh wow. So ready. Alright, I just booked our Airbnb. Woo! Yeah! Exciting! <laughs> it's a cute little place. Yeah, it does look nice. I think I got it just in time. It said that while I was looking at it that like six other people were looking at it for those exact dates so hmm. that's scary you imagine that <laughs> we finally figured out we have to book like three four months in advance <laughs> instead of waiting to the last possible moment hmm makes sense oh makes total sense so yeah we've got this storage room container Radioactive barrels. <clears throat> uh, let's see, we could change this into some kind of. Um, waste disposal oh. area. Yeah, what is that bad gateway area? Is that for the chat? We might need to update some of the stream overlay stuff. Um, Where is that? I don't see anything. If if you look at our stream feed on Twitch, mm. uh, you'll see the bad gateway appear um, oh, on your actual stream interface. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's fine for me. You don't see the bad gateway? Nope. I, it's where right above the t like the bits jar. Um, where the dock is, it says bad ga gateway. 
No. Oh, I see that now. Oh. Oh no. Oh, uh, it looks like that's where the chat would be. Yeah. Oh, crud, yeah. Oh, no, I think I see it now myself in the, uh... uh sorry, guys. I didn't see that before I went on. We'll have to figure that out before our next stream. Mm. It might be something with Streamlabs that updated weird, and we'll just have to... Yeah. Also, sorry. um, sorry about that. over K or over key, I don't know how do you say your name in chat. I linked our YouTube because he's asking about archived past dev streams. Mm. They're on our YouTube under live stream playlist. Uh, Daniel, could you go into your um, editor real fast in Streamlabs <laughs> and just um, click the eyeball for the chat? That should um, get rid of it for the time being. <clears throat> oh, right. Uh... Did that do it? Let me see after the delay. Man, I have such a delay. One moment. Because it's still on the screen for me, but it might be different on stream. don't know. You should be able to see it in editor. I see the bad, the bad gateway thing now that I'm in the editor. Um, and you clicked that eyeball to hide it? Yes, I did. Hmm, it's not hiding it. No, it isn't hiding it. Uh, I wonder why. I don't know. I mean, it's not a huge deal. It's just kind of blocking some of the dock. Yeah. Oopsie daisy. Sorry, guys. Yeah, there's two bad gateways. One might be the event log. Mm. And then there's a bad gateway on the other side that... Oh, yeah, there's a few bad ga gateways on the other side, too, that I'm now noticing. No. Oh. <laughs> uh oh <laughs> I don't Yeah, we're going to have to figure that out. <laughs> Maybe I'll have a test stream tomorrow. Just to make sure everything's up to date and get everyone else uh, set up on their streamlabs and make sure that's up to date. So, <laughs> there we go. Um, Carly, do you have the Forsaken Xbox keys or is that Daniel? I can never remember. Um, I think Daniel has the Forsaken ones, but I might also have them. Let me double check. <clears throat> the Xbox ones? I think you have them. For I Forsaken? I probably uh, do. Oh. Oh, go! I don't know. <laughs> Let me check real fast. The future is Forsaken. The future is Bad Gateways. It is. So Bad Gateway would be like... Bad Day on the Gateway. Or like a... <laughs> Thank you. I was just about to make a terrible joke. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I beat you to it. Mm. So oh, bad rats. Yep. <clears throat> ah, bad gateways are the new bad rats. <laughs> all right, I sent you the dock with all the keys. It has the Forsaken Xbox keys. Hey, wait! I can donate bits. Yeah, you can. All right. Steve donates ten thousand bits and buys me a sandwich. I don't know. Uh, okay, sorry. Stream stuff. So yeah, I'm thinking we could turn this room into some kind of. Like professional, you know, jettisoning. Oh my god, Steve. One hundred flags. <laughs> oh, I tried and said you cannot cheer your own channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> That's funny. Um. This room can be expanded out to maybe contain some kind of... Uh, what do you call those rooms that if you're going like... Um, so you're in a contained space and then you have to go into this room where you get like washed down or sprayed oh, or something. Yeah, that's it. Contamination room. I spelled that horribly wrong. <laughs> Sir Kane says that's one bad rat's copy worth of bits. <laughs> yep. It be. 
I hope that in the future, Bad Rats becomes our only um, like feasible uh, currency. <laughs> that everything has oh, to yes. be converted to Bad Rats. <laughs> well, good thing I already have one copy of Bad Rats. That will get me through the winter. That's like one copy of Bad Rats is like one Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> bad Rats are the new uh, e-commerce uh, <laughs> coin type. Damn it, I was so banking on dog coin. Doge. Dog. Uh, I was it? told that uh, Bitcoin dropped again today. Yeah. I always thought it was pronounced doggy coin. Because it's no, just it's like, doge. oh, it's, do like it's doggy. Me. Doggy coin. No, it's doge. Not doggy. Doge. Well, I'll. Well, let, let's agree to disagree. No, oh, it's doge. No, it's doggy. I'm probably <laughs> wrong. I don't care. I'm just being stubborn for the sake of it, but it's doggy. You know, on the subject of mispronunciation it's uh hr giger oh giger i always say geiger I know. it doesn't well, even like geiger just sounds so much more nefarious mm. it does giger sounds goofy goofy <laughs> giger it sounds yeah <laughs> rhymes with eager and it just it makes me think he's always really happy eager, and excited beaver, all the time eager giger <laughs> Will bad rats make it into System Shock? It's being funded by bad rats. <laughs> bad rats is the publisher now. What do you? Who do you think I'm? I'm paying all the developers with copies of bad rats, of course. Yeah. If guys, any? If you guys need any copies of bad rats, please get in touch. Okay. Yeah. So this room makes absolutely no sense. Um. I get what they were trying to do, like they were trying to... Actually, no, I, that's a lie, I don't know what they were trying to do with this, like it's... So you, you've just got this drop, for no reason. Just... You, you kind of step through this door and there's absolutely... Like, in the real world you could walk through that door. <coughs> or the, um... The repulsor lift could be switched off, and you could like fall and break your foot. Um, yeah, that was completely by accident, so again. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do with this. This just. Mm. But they do include this little. I don't know if you call it a puzzle, it's not really a puzzle. You go up, you can crouch, you go down, you find you are locked in a room until you find the switch. You press the switch, you leave. Um, I don't know. Tough one, this one. Uh, I do know that there's an interesting area over here. Obviously, button. Um, so, th this is one of the stages in the game. It's kind of one of the few stages in the game where you really have to work to find the um, cyborg conversion lever. Because um, you see, that you, you can come across the actual station, the, the, the bay, pretty easily, but finding the switch is a bit tough. Uh, any thoughts in the voice chat about this room? Uh, <coughs> I was not paying attention though. <laughs> I know, I was reading something. Yay. You were asking thoughts about this room, but what did yeah. you say before that? Well, it doesn't make much sense at all. Um, you know, there's just a there's just a kind of drop here. Um, the delay that, makes it very difficult yeah. to know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's true. Um, so you come through this door. There's just a repulsor lift here. You drop down, um, and there's just kind of like there's just a 
really short puzzle here. You just you go up, you crouch, you go through the gap, you press the switch because this door is locked from the other side. So it's the only way to get out. So, um, yeah, it's, um... Hmm, might come back to this. More of an inconvenience than it is a puzzle, huh? Yeah. On the plus side, you get a... You get a power station out of it, so... It's not so bad. Can we have it so that the... the I guess the door... That is covering the power station is, like, um... Like, damaged? Or what's it look like when it's closed? Does it look like a normal door, or does it just uh, look like a wall panel? It looks like a wall panel. I've just closed it, but it'll take a moment to update. Oh. So it's kind of like just a hidden hidden area. Yeah. Um, though this door, I think, starts open when you enter the level. Let me just reload the save. You know, I would probably keep the puzzle the same, but um, what I would do is... Uh, Maybe we could put a corpse in there as well with an audio log from one of the backers. Like that might be a cool place to stash one. Hmm. Yeah. And then, uh, or if we decide to write a new audio log, we could say something like, "I was hiding from the mutants and I and I climbed up here and I got stuck and I couldn't find the how to open the door <laughs> or something, and mm. it just like basically just wasted away in there." Mm hmm. Could do. You're being asked, did you hide the UE4 Oop. editor part of the stream? Uh, yeah, I minimized it. There it is. Confirmed. Yeah, I just minimized it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about this. Probably keep it the same. Maybe. Maybe change it up a little bit, make it... We'll try and work something out. Uh, yeah, this area is pretty important. Probably have to keep this the same, because this is where you expect to find the, uh... Conversion chamber switch. It's probably one of those um, <clears throat> places again, like we di we discussed in medical. It's like one of these um, underground places that people might move through, as so not to disturb the workers. So that spits us out here. <clears throat> However, I'm not done with that area yet, really. Again, this this is another area that's... This just says... This is, a, you know, it's a service access place. It's, um... You're not going to find too much really here that's interesting. It's just a... Back tunnel. We'll probably change it, obviously, make these... Uh, wall panels much more interesting. I will keep just taking random pictures and throwing them in the document and then uh, going back to them later on when I can think of other things to put in there. Yeah, this this space could be made much more interesting. This would probably be some kind of there'd probably be obviously some kind of air vent here, maybe. Um I think we have space to actually <coughs> expand this corridor out. Let me check. Yeah, so we could add 
There could be some more card to more tunnels here with some some goodies in them. I may not be touching the Shodan Encounters document too much in this stream because Shodan really doesn't make much of an appearance on this level. Apart from one very key moment, but that's we're nowhere near that in the chain of story yet. Because you've got to do a whole lot of other things first. Can't get in there. That again, that room I know leads to another kind of maintenance area. It goes down and then there's just this long pathway all through the level. It's just weird. It's really weird again. Um... Now let's come on to this area. So this area... Um, oh, oak panelling. Oh, okay. Yeah, this area... I don't know how this area would fit into a research type theme, you know? Um, it almost looks like because of the external cameras of Citadel Station that they would be monitoring maybe like radiation from the planet or mm. um, mm. I like how they have their own <laughs> perfection through genetics propaganda poster in there yeah Ooh, that almost looks like a room where they could be doing interviews with scientists to share with the rest of the station right uh, to the left there oh, yeah so, yeah, the yeah I'm just <laughs> yeah. Like this could be um Oh yeah. That's an idea. Something like that. Hmm. Maybe external sciences. Maybe they've got uh samples of the planet's surface or like gases or something like that and tubes or and then yeah, the big there's like a big observation window there. That's pretty cool. Hmm. That's a really good idea, actually. Yeah, this could be, yeah, some kind of internal broadcast thing. It just strikes me as odd because this this is the only area in this level that looks like this. Now, this was a question that we've gone over a couple times, but do we want to keep it so that there's paper in the game? I thought that was kind of a cool touch. Um, <clears throat> as opposed to replacing all the notes with like individual tablets or something. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know. We we definitely have to think it is the f it is the future. Obviously, uh, this is like sixty. Was it fifty five? No. There's like yeah. There's another sixty five years to go, I think, before we catch up to the event, so would they still have paper in 65 years, or would they legitimately have moved on to something? I feel like uh, when you're else? in a station, you would not want the paper. Like, Maybe back on, like, a planet. Yeah, because if, if you run out of paper, where are you going to get more? You're on a station. Yeah, well, I suppose you could. I don't think they have machines to turn trees from the groves into paper. Oh, yeah, I, I just don't think trees. we would do that there. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Mm. Maybe they get Kevin Costner to swim down beneath the sea and get paper and then dry it out and then they pulp it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I've been I've been wanting to watch Waterworld again for was, some terrible. Reason. Oh my god! I was gonna say was that Waterworld? Yes. <laughs> It sure was. Oh boy, was it. I like the scene in the beginning where they try to recycle him because they're afraid hmm. of him because he's like starting to evolve. He's got gills. Oh yeah. Awesome. Mm. So cool. That is a film I, think I they have they still seen. have that, uh, the Waterworld special effects showcase at Universal Studios. I didn't know that one. I didn't know that I've existed. I've never seen it. Oh my God, it's awesome. 
It's like one of those big set pieces where it's like a plane comes down and explodes in the water and there's pyrotechnics and people doing these crazy stunts off of like these uh, ladders and you know, super Man, dramatized. Typing. Oh my god. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's so aggressive. <laughs> He's booking a trip to Universal after GC. <laughs> I can't miss this. Gotta go see the Waterworld exhibit. <laughs> Man, it's so weird to think what this could be on the station. I mean, I like the idea of this um, this area in specific being some kind of place where they would possibly broadcast things on like a closed circuit TV kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Because you think with the the way that uh, Diego is so shady that he would have his you know essentially what would be like Fox News right hmm. on board the station to just kind of get people to keep doing what he wants them to do <laughs> well, what are you trying to say steve beep boop what are you trying to say beep boop. well it'd be like st state-sponsored propaganda right like you, we could add that little twist into the story I'll be propaganda maybe, or... news lady <laughs> that'll be my my voice role i'll spread misinformation no, all glory to Edward Diego. <laughs> <laughs> Other propaganda news networks are available. Excuse me, there's only me. <laughs> One channel on the station, nothing else. K Meow TV. <laughs> all cats, all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Turn this in area into a place where scientists. Everybody knows your name. May. Yes. Nice. <laughs> scientists. Fastest may draw in the West. Broadcast reports to a closed circuit. Television network. Contained on the station. How much space do we have to work with that anyway? <clears throat> if I remember rightly, that area should be okay. I think. Let's have a look. Uh, turn that off. Oh yeah, we got space. Yeah, we got space. We're good. Hmm. This area doesn't have anything uh, in it in the original game. This could be another observation area, maybe. Um, it's just, it's kind of strange that there's nothing here. Yeah, we might just want to put some. Um, we need some, some gorgeous chairs. views into space. 
Yeah. Um, what if we had like um, a telescope or something like that in there? Oh yeah, yeah. This area could be, be nice. yeah, yeah. This area could be like a proper, like, observe ob observation station, like with like a huge lounge telescope. And, lounge and observation. Yeah. That'd yeah, cool. I think that in this one too, you'll be able to see the exterior of the station, kind of like in the U the Unity demo. So you could set this up to where, um, what if we you had that big window, right? Yeah. Uh, we could put a blast shield in front of that, and just as a little detail, you could open it by maybe hitting a button on the control panel there, and it would just open up. Hmm. You could see like the exterior of the station, and then maybe um, if it's rotating at the right speed, the Saturn or um, Elon Musk's Tesla flying by. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and we've talked about that. It's gonna, it'll happen. Yeah. <laughs> if you st if you stand, yeah, guys, if you stand here for a thousand hours without turning the game off, um, a Tesla <laughs> will fly by, and it's gonna be great. Damn. So, yeah, this area can be I'm not even typing that hard either, but I know it's I know the mic's picking it up, but With a few or maybe one big telescope looking out into space. You could call that room the observatory. Yep. Yeah, why does that happen? If I remember rightly, um, the devs, original devs, did a little bit of trickery here. So, obviously, in the original game, you can't see that that wall there is just it's got a star field on it. But um, if you come outside, you can actually see you'd be able to see that quite clearly that there is uh, a pathway going down there. Um, Cleverly hidden. It's hard to make notes like the way that we're doing on a game that is um, open-ended like this. Just trying to do things in an order just doesn't work. Um, you kind of just have to go around the station and pick 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 a route and just kind of go with it here's a question a bit of a wild question if someone slash something shoots the glass would it rupture it so the blast shield comes down as an emergency I would imagine that in the future they have um, glass self-repairing glass that um, if it detects, um, if, it, if it detects a crack or if it detects like an impact, it would instantly repair itself. We're on the Star Trek Four timeline, and all the windows are made of transparent aluminum. <laughs> transparent aluminium. Okay. <laughs> Um, I have to get going. I have a uh, a call I gotta I gotta make. Um, okay. But I will hopefully be back. Alrighty. See you in a bit. Bye. All right. I'll be back. Then there were two. Now we can slack off. <laughs> Yeah, 
Nano machines. Yes, that's the answer to everything. Nano machines. Oh my goodness, my eyes are playing up. Sorry, one sec. Ugh. I did not sleep well. If oh. I'm totally honest, I maybe got about four hours sleep, so my eyes are really too much house excitement. Twitchy and itchy and annoying me. Yeah, essentially, yes, I couldn't sleep because I was like, I need to put an offer in and I need to hear back from these guys as soon as possible. Um, so I only got about four hours sleep, so I'm not good right now. Probably after the stream, I will go for a lie down. That's a good idea. I, I slept pretty hard last <coughs> night. I went. Hmm. Though I, I woke up probably only two, maybe three times, because I wake up a lot in the middle of the night. But I, yeah. for the most part, I slept pretty hard. Mm. Okay, so we've got those areas done now. <coughs> Armory. It just tickles me that there's an armory on the research level. Like, scientists gonna need grenades, yo. Hey, they're experimenting with them. Hmm. Uh, not really much to say about this room. This room is a storage room, obviously. That room's an armory. This room is another office. There isn't much room to expand in these rooms because um, kind of towards the middle of the station where a lot of rooms start getting very tight. So um, they will probably just have to stay the way they are. Uh, then most people remember this, um, whenever I think of the science level I always think of um, just this long pathway around this kind of like, I don't know, I don't know what you call the center room for this, um, but just this path around it. Sorry, I haven't been keeping an eye on the chat, have I? Uh, uh. It fine. Oh, uh, fine, okay. Gotta kill escape experiments, yep. What if the armory is for a security checkpoint? Uh, maybe. Oh yeah, we could change the armory into, like, it don't have to be armories, it could, it could be a security checkpoint or something, that's an idea. But what... So... Um... What on earth this room could be, I have no idea. Because it's... Huge. It's open. What's in it, exactly? Standard environmental setting. Diagnostic panel. Soft paneling. Lights. Just, just, a column, just two columns of lights in the middle of the room for no real reason. Obviously the laser controls are in here, but I'd imagine maybe this this room would be some kind of maybe some kind of data center. What is my favorite video game or video game series? I don't have a favorite video game. I have favorite video games. Um, it's like. Um, Okay, this might sound really obscure, actually. Does does anybody know the phrase, there's no perfect pasta sauce? There are just perfect pasta sauces because everybody's different and they make different kind of pasta sauces. Um, that falls into that category, really. I love all kinds of games. I will play anything from that adorable little guy there. I'll play Spyro. 
and I will also sit down and I will play Resident Evil 2 on the Dreamcast and then the next day I could play Crash Bandicoot, I could play Silent Hill, Shinobi, Demon Souls, Panzer Dragoon Saga, you know, I'm different. I don't, uh, but um, I suppose my favourite video game I always come back to and I never ever get bored of is probably System Shock 2. Um, um, it's just, I don't know what it is about that game that I just keep coming back and playing it, I just do, and even though I know the game almost inside out, um, it just never gets old for some reason, I don't know how they did it, if they could channel what made that and like sell it, it'd be amazing. Um, and I'd love to kind of do the same thing with this game, you know, make something that's replayable like that, but our version, that'd be nice. Um, Thief 2 is pretty close actually, I need to play through that game again. Thief 2 is amazing. Maybe you can stream that. Oh goodness, I could do, oh yeah that's a thought. <laughs> would be nice. You give me an idea there. <laughs> Man, I once did a um I did a run through of Thief One and Thief Two where I didn't blackjack or kill anybody. That was a challenge. Of course in Thief Two that's impossible, but in Thief One it's perfectly possible to do. Um because I'm crazy like that sometimes and set my own rules for things. Must press red button, yeah. Well, I've got Draken. Draken, the Ancient Gates, and Draken, Order of the Flame. They're up there. Um, solid games. God Hand, that's a fun one. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, enemy capsules for the enemies to pop out of. Um, maybe. We did. I did kind of touch on that for um, the cyborg drones. So you know where this wasn't on the stream. Actually, I think I did this afterwards. But I did think of so all of the. So you come across that area in medical where you're heading towards the computer room, and there are a whole load of sleeping cyborgs all around you. You've got to walk through this corridor to get to get to the computer room. I'm thinking like there could be just loads of those pods just all over that area just full of enemies um, just sleeping and uh, obviously when you destroy the nodes in the computer room they'll wake up and come after you yeah strategy games I have just a yeah I've, ne I've never played Command and Conquer I've never played um, I did try getting into XCOM that I actually did enjoy, but I lost track of where I was and stopped playing it. Um, so yeah, if anybody has any Command and Conquer questions, don't ask me, because I have no idea. Also, Blizzard games. I'm blind to Blizzard games. I don't play them. Um, I don't know Diablo. I don't know Warcraft. I don't know. Um, I don't know anything they've done really. I should do, but I don't. I mean, it's, I feel like it's too late to the game. It's not worth it anymore. You think so? In my opinion, I played WoW for a very long time. I started playing WoW um, at the second expansion. I didn't play at Vanilla. Well, I did, but it wasn't like my account. I yeah. was babysitting playing on a Vanilla account. And then when Burning Crusade came out, I bought myself a laptop that could play it. And then I played it nonstop until I was probably about 21, 22. Wow. And then I started petering off and, like, not being interested anymore. Mm. And then, like, it's... I got really disappointed because so much changed. And, like, all these things that I worked really hard for... People can now just get easily, oh. like by just buying them. Yeah. 
And so I feel a little let down that I worked so hard on some stuff and now people can just. Mm. Classic example being the Talbuck Mount and battling to like gain um, territory possession and like trading in like, what was it like? Skull beads, not skull beads. I was like skull necklace something. I don't remember. It's been a long time. Oh, skull bells? No. No, no. No, it was just a no, it like a, a quest item that you would get and you could trade them as currency. Oh, okay. Yeah, Simic, I want all these kids to get off my lawn, even though I'm not that old. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a young grandma. Hi, Dr. Blue Monkey. Just call me young grandma. You children, you kids, get off my lawn. I'm only 27, though... GDC happens right before my birthday. Like Twen- twenty-seven. Uh, oh, to be young again. I'm twenty-seven years old, but I turned twenty-eight in March. I love that point in life where you're like, "Hey, you can't talk to me like that. I'm six and a half, soon to be seven. And yeah, and then you get to a That's point me. where you you get to a point where you you want to be older, and then you get to that point where, dear God, why did I ask for this? <laughs> I don't want to get. I don't want to get older. Yeah. The only reason I complain about the WoW stuff is only because, and I'm not saying like, you know, I'm not trying to be like, kids get off my lawn. I just mean like, it sucks to work really hard for something in a game for it only to be made readily available expansions later. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. I feel like WoW used to have the like ability to make you feel like really proud and special for earning something. Yeah, it's the same thing with microtransactions, isn't it? I mean, you can either earn the items or you just buy them if you're lazy. Mm. But the yeah. problem, but the problem is, actually, I shouldn't say that because they tend to make the grind in those games so bad that uh, you kind of are guilted into buying them. So you've got to have like, yeah. will you've got to have? Has my game crashed? No, it's probably just frozen. Uh, you have to have like quite strong willpower actually to not fall to that. I can actually buy Shadow of uh, War now because they got rid of the microtransactions in that. I said I will not buy that game because it's got microtransactions in it and they got rid of them so <clears throat> I might look into that now. I hear it's an okay game. I still have to play the first one. Oh man I so my brother came over the other day and I actually got so you know that AMD rig that I built uh, for AMD yeah. testing stuff I actually managed to get uh, Doom 2016 running on that and it runs amazingly on the highest graphical settings it's so cool 1440p just everything on ultra it's amazing for a second I was I was watching the stream and I thought it said Sega in blue. <laughs> Threw me off. Beta looks like it's a Sega. Well, yeah. I suppose if I am running fast, it pass quite fast, it does. Oh, if you're going fast like Sonic, which gotta, is Sega? <laughs> hmm. Gotta go fast. Conspiracy goes straight to the top. <laughs> straight to the top of the Triaptimum corporate ladder. Maybe, maybe Triaptimum branched off from with Sega at one point, maybe in the future, because this was in 1994 when Sonic the Hedgehog was really popular. So yeah, Sega probably became Trapped and ruled the world. That's what I think. Um, I'm spouting nonsense. Um, so yeah, we've got this. We've got this just long corridor surrounding this one big room for this reveal. Um. Not really much you can do with that. Uh, the space is very, very tightly contained. You know, you don't really have much in the way of room to change anything. So, um, obviously in our version we'll tweak the spacing and whatnot, but uh, if you want to keep the general familiar corridors, I don't know how much you can change. Maybe normalize some of the... Because th this area is very, very slanty. Um, that could be changed a bit. 
you know, maybe, I don't know, this is a crazy suggestion, but maybe put some freaking stairs here. Because that always annoyed me, just, why are there no stairs? This game does not have stairs at all, it has ramps. So yeah, spoilers, we're putting staircases. We're, we're, we're putting st stairs in places that should have stairs. I'll just make a note of it here. Put stairs here. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. What's going to play on the screens in the theatre room? Hmm, don't know, we could, we could make something. Like, um... Trapped him um, like uh, maybe a recording of scientists and their <coughs> findings, and then all of a sudden, I don't know. <coughs> oh, that'd be cool. Actually, they could be like doing. They could be in the middle of a, a report or something, and then like they just get attacked um, by mutants, and that's on loop or something. Maybe because there are a lot of dead bodies With, in like, that the area. With like the Benny Hill music playing. <laughs> Oh, I should also say, again, I said this in the other stream, but I will mention in this stream. Um, if you hand out ideas in this chat, and they, and they, and if they do get used, um, by, by putting your ideas in this chat, you automatically waive any uh, possible compensation you might want to claim or anything. Like, you are giving these ideas freely to us and not expecting anything in return, so... Should have said that at the beginning. I'm going to say it now. Um, so, yeah. I mean... Got to cover bases. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm not crazy, honest. I just don't want to be sued and... Don't sue me, please. Thank you. This is a, a public it's forum. It's really not cool. <laughs> There's a funny character mm. in this one anime I like, um, Sayonara Zetsubu Sensei, and she's the American exchange student, mm. and she threatens <clears throat> to sue everyone all the time. That's <laughs> her quirk. That's a quirk, is it? Yeah. There's one girl in the class that she has to have everything symmetrical, or else it drives her crazy. There's Ooh, yeah. a girl that only talks on her phone and she has a blog where she talks shit all the time. <laughs> There's one girl who's Hikamori and she starts off not wanting to leave her house, but then when they convince her to go to school, she never wants to leave the school. <laughs> um, there's a girl that stalks the teacher. There's a girl that's always positive no matter what. I know there's a lot of funny girls in it. What a wacky bunch of funsters. Yeah. There is a boy in their class that he looks like a 40-year-old salary man who's balding. <laughs> I have this weird thing I don't like I don't like odd numbers for some reason. I can't stand odd numbers. It has to be an even Ooh. number. I don't know why. Um I was I was kind of being fussy cuz the house that I just bought is is number 13 and I'm like, "Oh, I can't this be 14 or 12." And I was kind of annoyed about that for a while. I don't know why. Just this That's quirk. Funny. Yeah, it's just this quirk that I have. Anyway, I uh, really should get on th with things. So, this is the beta zone. I'll just call it that for now. Auto zone. And I'm, see, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping... What? I just said auto zone because you said beta zone, but you uh, wouldn't know what auto zone is. No, I'm got a clue. What is it? Explain. I need closure. It's it's just a car repair place, or they have like supplies. It's an American thing, uh, and I'm like, okay. oh, never mind. <laughs> that joke region, just went. Region locked me. <laughs> that joke went. <laughs> Uh, I went to the beta zone. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh yeah, I should have mentioned for those joining us, sorry about all the bad gateway messages I done goofed when I started the stream. Or maybe... We'll figure mi it out by next time. Or maybe Twitch done goofed, I don't know. Something done goofed. It, it, might, it might or might not be me. We shall see. Mm-hmm. 
Right, do we have room in this beta zone for... where is beta zone? It's there. Do we have room to expand this out? Oh my goodness, no we don't. Well, that sucks. Obviously we can tweak it in our version, but let's just... Uh. Like we could change this into be a to be a proper um, like a board meeting room kind of area or something. Well, it, w it wouldn't be a board meeting really per se. It would be sort of a I don't know a presentation area. Yeah, it would be a presentation area where I don't know scientists would stand and maybe like the screen would be much bigger and they'd you know have their laser rapier pointing sticks where they go. This is where we found this and this and this and that and all the scientists go. So, yeah. That would be that. Let me let me make a note of that just not in those words. Beta zone. Uh presentation room. Scientists will meet here to discuss the research they w were performing. I think maybe keeping the layout of this room, it seems okay-ish. Um, yeah. Layout seems okay. Might tweak some things. Give this room a bigger screen. and or projector. I don't know if they'd have a projector in the future. Projectors are pretty old school these days. Yeah, podium as well. Yeah, that's true. Some kind of podium, yeah. Um, clock on the wall, not on the floor. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh... Might expand on that a little bit later off uh, stream, but yeah, that seems okay for now, because... We can make this area quite interesting. Yeah, Alien Isolation would be an interesting game to play just to see what the environments are like. I wish I could... Th I'm hoping out there somewhere is a mod to remove the alien, so I could actually just take... Just look at their environment? Yeah. Um, that would be helpful. Just play on the easiest mode. <laughs> yeah, get rid of... That'd be cool. Yeah, get rid of the alien, get rid of the people... Get rid of the plot so it isn't spoiled for me. And I could just kind of run around and look at the environments and maybe get some ideas from there about things we could include in this. And give it our own special version. Oh, uh, there. Uh, Koshiro says there is a mod to make the alien non hostile. Yeah, there are always mods out there. I'll need to do some digging and find them. Koshir says it was apparently super hard to make it. I can imagine that alien probably would break the mod and then <laughs> find the people who made the mod and then the people who made the mod have to hide in lockers. Yep. <laughs> That's just how it goes. And never come out. Good news, everyone. Oh, you can't link stuff. Yeah. Uh, 
You can post it in Discord and I'll pick it up. Thank you. I'm going to call you DBM from now on. Thank you, DBM. DBM. I'm just going to call him... Mm, the darkest of name. blue monkeys. Let's call him... Hmm. I'm going to mess with his name. Make a whole new name out of it. Let's see. Mm. Yek, yek nam Ilb Krad. Wow. Krad. Good luck yeah. remembering that for the next stream. <laughs> Uh, I want to go to the data reader. Data. It just occurred to me that um, there may be some information actually about this station in cyberspace. That'll give me an idea of. Okay. Note that there are actually two cyberjacks on the research level, blah blah blah. The jack you've used to get the stations in the admin sec office in Beta Quadrant, which also contains the research library, biological labs, screening room, and some other systems. So this room, I imagine with all the X-ray stuff in it, is the screening room. <laughs> you do signal stuff. Oh yeah, DBM, yeah. <laughs> uh okay. What were these this is probably going to sound like a stupid question, but what were they screened for in the screening room? Like, they do obviously x rays and stuff, but what else would they possibly need a screening room for? Anything? Um. Uh, I've never been. I don't think I've ever been screened. Like movies or. No, like it's, it's not. TED like Talks or. <laughs> and not that kind of screening room. You know. Oh, a screaming room for yelling really loud? <laughs> No, it's an ice creaming room where they just oh. have nothing but ice cream. Mm. These are the people I have to work with in these conditions. <laughs> screening room. <clears throat> uh, how much room is there to expand? Oh, not much. Because that's weird. Like. Okay, I I have been X-rayed before, uh, and call me correct, call me wrong, but I don't remember that being an X-ray machine. When mm -hmm. I was when I was X-rayed, I had to go stand behind a bomb-proof bloody wall, and this woman kind of she says, "Just stand there," and then she runs behind it, and then you're just kind of standing there going, "Am I gonna be all right?" And she's just going. Yeah, you'll be all right. Sure. Thumbs up. Yeah, you'll 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 be fine. And she's okay. Well, you're the one standing behind the bomb-proof wall. And I'm just here. I imagine maybe they get in. I don't know. Do you, would you climb in here to have your X-ray done? There's no other reason for this to exist. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a. Is that a bug? It's just, if you stand in the room, oh my god, I just noticed this. You stand in the room that emits the radiation, uh, all the radiation disappears from it when you close the door. I never noticed that before. That is funny. That's very strange, yeah. Be right back. Oh, I'm just, I'm on my own now. I'm unsupervised. Yeah, okay, I can see this, yeah, well. Yeah, you want to get your x-ray taken, although it's more of a medical thing, really, doesn't it, having your x-ray taken? I don't know. 
Uh, let's see. Do do we love that? The research lab. The research library obviously is around this corner. Hence the big word library over there. Um, I imagine this would be the biological labs because there are mutants running around in that area there. Um, screening room and some other systems. Hmm, some other systems. That isn't helpful, but that means we can kind of change it and for our own thing. Yeah, probably. Welcome back, that's a good point. Radiation is only on when the door is in an open state. Hmm. Paneling. I know these streams are fairly kind of slow paced, but I just have to kind of sit and think about each individual area, and you know, it takes time, the thought process. Then it doesn't help that I'm tired. Um. Hmm. Oh, Joe will be cool. Actually, um. Oh, I don't know if this would fit into the timeline. Actually, you could. There could be. Um, there could be cutting up um, mutants and stuff in here. Like this area could be. Uh, we could change this area so, like, maybe some of the scientists were able to capture some mutants and things, and they were sort of cutting them up in the biological lab and. You could get um, maybe a dead uh, plant mutant in here or something from the groves to maybe kind of foreshadow uh, what you could be coming up against uh, in the future. Hmm. Yeah, that'd be cool. Obviously, you know, everything's subject to change, but for now, I think this would make it would make this area a bit more interesting at the least. They created the zero G's and other monstrosities. Yeah, um though uh spoiler alert, um it is very, 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 very likely that those things are going to get cut. Um, really, because they don't... They're not... They're not that interesting to deal with. They're just blobs that... Floating blobs that scream. Um, they are... Not very interesting, in, in my opinion. Yeah, the whole reason why they're out there, well, not, yeah, they're, because they're out in space, you know, they've, they've bought, trapped them and bought this area of space, because it's the future, you can buy space, um, and they um, can just kind of do whatever they want. I don't think many people will miss the Zero Gs, if I'm honest. Um, they're only, how many levels do you even see them in? You see them in... Obviously research, you see them in the reactor, you see them at level 3, uh, there are some in level 4, 
none in five. None in six. None in seven. None in eight. None in nine. Um, yeah, they're they're gone. At least for now. Um, Oh, the Invisos? I don't know. They probably won't get cut. They'll probably be changed to be maybe not like Stingray looking things. One thing I've always kind of wondered. It would, be, it would be way too hard to implement. Well, not, not implement, but it, it would be hard to um, do it in a way that Absolutely everybody who would play the game would understand like but I'd love to have a game with purely invisible monsters that you have no way of locating other than the sound they make but then you might get people with hearing disabilities hearing problems and they just they'd have no idea why they were just getting killed for no reason and it's like oh yeah you can't have that um, so yeah That's the screening room. Yeah, for now, I'm going to make this room kind of like, um... I'm just going to call it a biological research room. Give it a bit of a story, so... Yeah, this room could be changed to contain multiple surgical tables each containing one of Shodan's mutants being dissected that's not how you spell dissected not at all the scientists here wanted to try to understand how Shodan's creations worked. Um, we could do a bit of foreshadowing. Spell it right. Shadowing and include a creature or two from the grove from the groves such as uh, the plant mutant Yeah, that's a that's a plausible idea. <laughs> like the cabinets to do with you that show parts of Revenants and Nights. Yeah. Science library. Science library could be turned into something. It could be full of like. Um, data tapes and things could make it taller We've got the space could make it taller make it a multi-layered kind of thing because you expect you expect there to be a lot of information in the science library I'm trying to it's it's a kind of a difficult thing so I try to think what would they have in the future but of course that's really hard to do because who knows what we'll have in the future I mean 
Well, they have big libraries. I mean, you can you can store thousands of books on you know one tablet these days. So you don't need huge libraries, so to speak. They were thinking back when they made this game. They were thinking of libraries in the traditional sense of oh my god, like it's an actual library full of. It wouldn't be books, but it would be. It could be books, but like data tapes and you know all these other things that you'd. Um, read and it would but you you kind of think now with the technology we have now what could you do to kind of make it more interesting so it, it's it's a balancing act you've got to think of what's fun to look at versus you know what's it what's interesting to explore oh god my eyes hurt so much can't wait for sleep Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that we could possibly make this a multi-layered thing. Um, you know, put a few stairways in. Have a really sort of big... Um, a big room full of... Possibly books. You know, data tapes. Holographic tapes, maybe. Oh! Steve is... Gracing us by not chewing over the microphone. Thanks, Steve. So, yeah, we could do that. We should really... Yeah, that, that's one thing I haven't really thought about. We should definitely see what we can do about sp exploring the verticality uh, a bit more. This would be kind of perfect to do that. Because um, we got the space to go up. So, um, yeah, we could do that. But isn't a space station constrained by force of a given size? Uh, yes, but um, you expect there to be some kind of leeway. Um, I mean, look at um, level 8, for example. That level is vertically huge. Um, so... Yeah, you, know, you can you can bend the space a bit to. Uh, we don't have to kind of restrict ourselves when there's no real reason not to. I mean, sure, it won't make sense kind of realistically, but I'm more interested in kind of what's fun, you know, um, as opposed to what's absolutely grounded in reality, because we're not constrained by that. You know, we can make our own space. Uh, do 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 I'll put that here, so... Science Library. Yeah, we could change this room to be... Some kind of multi layered room with staircases and ladders. Like the kind of things that you find in a traditional library, really. You know, you see the people going along the ladders to go and get books high up on shelves. Ooh, ladders with, like, you wouldn't get people on ladders, you'd get, like, robots on the ladders, automated robots, like, you, you key in a number on their back, and then they zoom up the ladder, and then they fly across, and then they pick up the book that you want, or the tape that you want, and then come back down and give it to you. That'd be cool. Probably outside the scope, but it'd be cool. I'll put that in as a note, actually, just for the heck of it. We can have robots on ladders that fetch books or tapes for you when you key in a number on the keypad on their back. 
bit flaff and get the book for you. We could fit some law stuff in that way. We could have like random numbers <laughs> hidden around the science library in you. Oh, if you key that number in, you get a book on this subject or something. That'd be cool. But then someone's got to write it. <laughs> I'm volunteering it for not to be me. <laughs> There's another game called The Station that is a nice wooden panelled room that's in someone's quarters but it looked like it was a nice model for this room. The Station. Okay. Let's take a look. Obviously there'd be much more computers in the science library as well. Uh, more computers. Um... I think more computers, yeah, more desks, tables. Like you could expand. The more I think about it, like you could expand this area to have like, like it could be like a hexagon, and there could be like places to sit on each floor that have, um, you know, spots to just sit and read, and computers to plug tapes into so you can get information. That'd be cool. Fifteen. How about the rotary shelf setup where other shelf disappear mysteriously? Oh, yeah. Hmm, that could be an option. Yeah, we're definitely pushing the boat out here. Uh, uh, I'm not sure how to say your name. Sorry, overkill. I'm going to say overkill. Um, yeah, it's... Um, Interesting to do this. Oh, the, the the pressure is kind of on because I have to think of things and I have to think of things fast because if I'm just sat there thinking, it's going to be one heck of a dull stream for you all just watching me sat here going, hmm, just stroking my chin. Hmm, mm. yeah, that's not very exciting. So i going to try and think of things quite quickly. Tables with places to sit down and read or... You'd have like you'd have computers built into desks, wouldn't you? Yeah, computers built into desks that would play hollow tapes stored in the science library. I'm just thinking of Thief now. In the Thief Three, there's this huge um, in the Keeper compound. There are these huge libraries that are really tall and kind of hexagonal. Um, you can't do much in there, but it's just what I think of, really. Constant Dark Souls reference. Hmm. Hmm. Still closed. Still closed. Hmm. God, I sunk 200 hours into that game and I don't regret a single hour of it. Yeah, that'd be interesting to do for a library kind of thing. How much room do we... What on earth is that doing there? Why is there a cabinet in the middle of the room? Hang on. I do not know why you are there. Oh my god. Oh no. Is this happening again? Uh, okay, so... Okay, this is a really good example of why we were having so many crates in the... Uh, in the... Um, ladders. There's, for just some reason, we have now got... Um, cabinets just spawning. Why, why are they here? I have no idea. We could put one against this wall, but these other three... Have we got anything in them? We check them. Lootable inventory. 
No, they're all empty, so why are they here? <sighs> delete, 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 delete. I won't delete one. I'll put you there as a reminder of your fallen brethren. Why? Why are they appearing? Okay. Don't really have much room to expand this room. Not in our version. Not, not, not in this version, anyway. We'll probably end up making this corridor maybe a bit longer with more rooms. Maybe. There's a gremlin on Citadel. <laughs> yeah, he's going around spawning a whole bunch of things in. I've returned. Hi. Hello. Did you catch that? Did you catch what just happened? No. So what I happened? just so I just went into this room that I'm looking at. Uh, you see it on the stream because I didn't leave. Um, yeah. There are just there was just a cabinet in the middle of the room for no reason, and I try and move it, and there are four other cabinets. It's the whole crate thing all over again. We have cabinets now spawning oh, <laughs> in the God. in the research labs for no reason. That's great. Mm. Perfect. Yep, so I got rid of him. I to kill him. Admin slash security. Yeah, we can make this room. Admin security. That's a weird phrase. You'd say, sec you'd say security admin these days, not admin security. Yeah, that would kill me, yeah. <laughs> Getting corrupt. Thank you, DBM. Well, instead of robots with numbers on the... back in the library, you want to have a terminal or computer with an arm that goes up and over. Yeah, that's another option. I was just kind of blue-skying it there, just thinking of, you know, what would be cool. It could be that. Kill the cabinets. Uh, okay, come on. Focus. I've only got ten minutes left of the stream. Wow, this went by quickly. I know. So... Oh my goodness, I can't spell. Security admin. Yeah, I definitely need... I definitely need to lie down after this. Oh yeah. Okay. Heading three. Yeah. So yeah, these rooms could be made much more interesting. We got our own panels on them as well. Gosh darn it, Steve! He just wants to cheer you on. Yeah, he does. Thank you. Better than dark blue. <laughs> So I've lost my document now. There we go. Mm. <laughs> that's better. I don't. I don't know why, but that that's better. I demand flags. Mm. Uh, so what am I going to say about this room? Let's make this room look more like its intended porpoise. Can make it look like an actual admin station with computers. What do admins have? Pens. Mm, pens. Mugs ba that says number one admin. <laughs> um, yeah, they got bags of um, Cheetos just on there. Little desk toy. Yeah, they got a little bobbing bird desk toy. 
It's kind of going. It's doing. It's doing that in a in a glass of water. You know, dip, dip. I don't know what you call those. Me either. If anybody knows, let us know. Because that will that will bug me for a while, actually. With computers. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll just leave it at that for now. Change it later. So, this area, oh, thank you, DBM. Oh, damn. We have a race, actually, for beep, second beep and third. Yeah, we have a race on second and third. <laughs> uh, so, this room, actually, makes sense. Um, from its layout, um, you've got. Oh, we, we could change it to be again a bit more kind of consistent, but it makes sense when you look at it. You've got the uh, room over to the left where the biological specimens are being kept for observation, um, and over to the right you have an emergency station with. Um, a dart gun, because obviously if the experiments ever broke out or you need them sedated, you've got a dart gun there. And some uh, gas grenades as well, so... That layout makes sense. Not sure about the healing bed, though. It's broken anyway. And this area is radiated for some reason. Is it radiated or bio-contaminated? Bio, okay. Oh yeah, because you meet virus mutants here, don't you? Maybe they're the ones causing the... Uh <laughs> Maybe they're the things that are causing the uh, bio... Let's get a picture of that first. If any of you are wondering what tool I'm using to get pictures like that, it's called Share X. It's really good. If you need quick images from your desktop, grab Share X because it's great. So this would be the uh, this would be the bio. I suppose it would be the biological containment. It'd be the study room, wouldn't it? I guess, kind of. Um yeah, we could change this room to have multiple containment rooms rather than just one. Um the Emergency station makes sense in the world. So keep that. Um, the bio contamination in the area may be being caused by the virus mutants contained 
in side the containment room. Either that or they need bio contamination to stay alive and the scientists are providing it so that the specimens don't die whilst being studied. I don't think there's any official reason uh, or law reason why this area is like that, but there could be a reason why this area is contaminated the way it is. Um, yeah. What area next? Alpha. Alpha is where all the machines are being kept. I don't know what kind of area you could call this. Oh, it'll say in the thing, won't it? Hang on. Uh, where are you, Rebecca? Up there. Alpha contains exclusively... Researchers' offices? We're in Alpha, aren't we? Yeah. Um, although, actually, to be fair, this area does look... Well, actually, no. No, I take that back. Um... Because this is a very funny researcher's office. Space. This doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know Nathan Darcy's office is around here. Um, but his is the... It's not the only office, but having not <laughs> yeah, the more the more I think about this area, the more it doesn't make sense. Why would an office like that be in an area that looks like this? It doesn't make any sense. I wish we could figure that out. Hmm. It's gonna be one of those things where I begin to think more and more about this game, and the more some of it just doesn't make any sense. It's gonna destroy my feelings for this game. Um, but I am afraid we are out of time uh, for this stream, so I guess if you guys have any questions for the last three or four minutes, I'm actually going to st stop running around here. Um, if you guys have any questions that we can answer. Now's your time. Yeah, now's your time. Mm. I know Shodan has re-jigged the station to look different, but um, this area just doesn't make any sense. Uh, what if this is a place you dream of all the time? A gigantic office with tons of tables and stuff. Uh, could be, but... <sighs> Why are there so many officers here? Why is why is power for the beta lab stored in a place that just has officers? I need to go away and think about this. I can't do it now. I'm getting tired if I'm honest, but uh yeah. Any questions, guys? This could be an area they're converting into something else, maybe a mech lab. Maybe, I mean, obviously we don't have to stick rigidly to um, the... Uh, what the areas were meant to what the areas are in this game we don't have to necessarily recreate that in ours we can chop and change things I mean we could change another area into 
um, an area that houses the robots. Um, I would imagine this might be a place where they would. Uh, so it's the research labs. Maybe they build new robots here. Um, they could exper They could be experimenting on, you know, all, all sorts of crazy stuff. They could be experimenting. They they could have been making. Oh, actually, that's a cool idea. They could have been making. Uh, like. They they could have been doing. How do I word this? S like cybernetics in people. Um, like th this could have been a test area for that, and Shodan kind of saw what they were doing and made it better. That's an idea. Maybe. When is the game coming out? Uh, when it's done. TBD. Yep, that's my answer. Yeah, if you look at the floor, some parts have a nice red carpet, but some of the floors have been taken up. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Hopper research lab. Yeah, prosthetics, you know, kind of like the stuff they did in um, Deus Ex 3. That kind of stuff is kind of where I'm thinking. It's an idea. I will get a picture of that though. Alpha Zone. Awesome Face is asking why we're ending the stream so soon. It's been two hours, not 40 minutes. Yeah, we streamed for two hours. Um, Sometimes we'll push it to two and a half if there's like a reason, but there's no reason to do so. T mm. You need to relax. And I'll be honest, my eyes are slowly going like this. I'm slowly going... <laughs> my di I can feel my eyes beginning to go, so I... I'm not going for two and a half hours. I'm going to call it there pretty soon, so... Yeah. Any questions? I'm guessing... I'm guessing not. If this was a science area, it might have been where the students' postdocs were put. You have to get shafted in offices in CS space. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to call it there. So, uh, yeah, go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's your bedtime. Yeah, I'm going to call it there. What time is it now? It's 5 past 12. I might go get something to eat, maybe a snack or something, and maybe get some rest for a little bit. So, yeah. Um, thank you very much for tuning in and seeing this. It's always fun to do this. I know it, it might not be terribly exciting or anything, but uh, it, I guess it helps to show you guys what we're kind of working on. So it's always fun to do. Tell them. Yeah, I need to definitely find a game to stream uh, for next week, though. I, do, I alternate. Mm -hmm. I, I do a dev stream one week and then um, a gaming stream the other one. So, uh, Carly, unfortunately, stole Prey, so I can't do that one. I'd <laughs> love, to, love to do that one, but I can't. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have any We can games. both stream Prey, see who does it best. <laughs> That's true. Could Competitive do. Prey play. Mm. All right, so, yeah, I'm going to call it there. Thanks ever so much, guys, for joining us on this Monday. It's been fun talking to you guys and uh, hearing all you guys' stories and stuff like that. So, yep, I'm going to call it there. See you guys. Have a great week, and see you next time. Bye. Bye. And we'll get the...
we'll get the stream graphics sorted out for next time. Promise. <laughs> Alright. See you guys. There we go. Bye, guys.